Kia ora guys and girls, we're here playing some more Horizon Zero Dawn and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get all three blazing suns at the Nora hunting grounds. So this is the location of the Nora hunting grounds and just like all of them you have to talk to the keeper of the hunting grounds to access the trials. Now the first trial is the parts alone trial and I'll let the keeper explain this a little bit. Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the backs of grazers as quickly as possible. Can't wait to see what you do with that. Ready when you are. So for this one it is not needed but I do recommend having the skill concentration. If you are still having trouble then I recommend coming back when you have concentration plus and fast reload. So these will just make it easier for you to be able to complete the trial faster. Now because the trial does not start until you slide down the rope, you can spend as much time up here scouting out your location as well as scouting out the machines that you're going to be attacking. So for this first trial we are going to be knocking off the canisters off the back of the grazers. Now if you scan the grazer they do highlight yellow because they are a weak spot. There are four canisters on the backs of each grazer. In my experience you could only really shoot off three before a grazer will die and when you do start shooting at them they are going to run away. So this kind of makes it one of the more annoying ones to get. It is still pretty easy of a trial to complete but it is just annoying because it does take a bit of concentration to be able to hit 10 canisters off off the backs of grazers within a minute 30. So once you have completed the trial and if you have done it under a minute 30 you will have earned a blazing sun and now all you have to do is return to the keeper to collect it. Here's your blazing sun. So the next trial is the log pile trial and once again I'll let the keeper explain a little bit. This trial tests your ability to use the environment to your advantage. Shoot log piles to make them fall crushing machines below. Remember, you can use explosions from your blast sling to scare machines into fleeing where you want them to go. Perfect. I'll start timing when you start down a rope. Now for this one I do recommend you buy at least the blast sling or any of the better versions of the sling because we are going to be using the blast bomb to scare the grazers into our trap. So for this one, once you slide down the rope, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot our blast bomb on the other side of the grazers. We want to try and scare them away from the other two tracks, so we're going to try and make them run up the track closest to us. So we're just going to shoot it over there, and then we're just going to swap it to our arrows, and what we're going to do is once they start running towards us, we just shoot this log pile right here, and they are going to all run into it, and you're going to get your three machine kills super easy and super quickly. And that's all you have to do. So now all you have to do is claim your blazing sun. Here's your blazing sun. So next up is the blast wire trial. Use your blast wire and Karja tripcaster to bring down grazers. I'll be timing you. Explosions scare them, so you may want to use your blast sling to drive them into your traps. Perfect. I'll start timing when you start down a rope. So this one you will need the Karja Tripcaster and I also recommend having the Blast Sling as well. So for this trial we're going to do something very similar to the previous one but instead of using the log pile to kill the machines we're going to be using the Blast Wire. So make sure you've got enough of that stocked up and then we're just going to slide down the rope and what we're going to do is we're going to set up our blast wire first so we're just going to place six of these across here and make sure you don't place them at too high otherwise the machines are just going to run underneath them and I also recommend not placing it near the log pile like I did just then. The reason being is we don't want the log pile to be activated and then to kill the grazers before they reach the rest of our blast wire. 
So because we have to kill six grazers with a blast wire, I do recommend placing down at least six traps. Uh, that will just kind of guarantee that you should get at least six kills and then you'll get it. Now we're just going to switch to our blast bomb and we're going to do the same sort of thing. We want to scare them towards us. So I shot it over there and they are going to run it towards us. Sometimes they don't, so you might have to try it again and then they should just run into it. Now as you can see, the log pile does activate, but in of them get past so that they activate on the other blast wires and I do end up getting all six. But if it does, if the log pile does kill them, then just restart and try again. So that's how you get all three blazing suns at the Nora hunting grounds. I will be making videos for the rest of the hunting grounds. I'll link them in the card in the top right hand corner. And that's it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have now completed the Nora hunting grounds. And now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and see you in the next video.